this is the moment before it all happens. We're waiting in the foyer. Everybody is inside. The anticipation is building. We're now debating whether you know or you don't know, but we're all very excited to celebrate with you. We've got a little toasting, a little roasting, and a lot of very good friends. So we're excited to see you. Happy birthday, Pops. Uh, we're, we're so excited to be here. Mom has been working tirelessly to put the evening together and all of your friends couldn't be more happy to be part of this wonderful celebration. Um, I didn't realize you had this many friends, but I guess you do. So anyway, happy 75th, and we look forward to doing this again in 25 years. very important to you. Sometimes it, it manifested itself in grabbing me by the ear to pull me out of the way so the mom could go out of the elevator first. <laughs> but nonetheless, it was very important to always be a gentleman and to show chivalry. I'll never forget when I was in sixth grade, and I knew it was sixth grade, because you said to me, Emily, you're in sixth grade, it's time you be a lady and you need to wear perfume. <laughs> and you should wear perfume every day. <laughs> And then the not so funny one, but the great one, because you really taught me what it means to have self respect. So, looking at you and the way that you run your life and the morals and values that you live by, you really set me up in such a way that I'm, I'm so proud of who you have helped to build me into as a person. You, you, have, you, have, you have many, many, many great qualities, and one of the things that I, I think about, Dad when I think about you is, you know, you and I always talk about there are two different types of people. There are batteries included people, there are people that, you know, that, that bring energy and that give energy to others, and there are batteries not included people, and you definitely fit into the, into the former. And uh, just your enthusiasm towards everything, towards um, activities with, uh, with your grandchildren, your, your golf trips with, uh, with, with the guys, which, uh, which I know you, you enjoy so much. And the thing that you're probably most enthusiastic, well, there are actually two things. One is anything that involves an O. It could be YPO, it could be CEO, it could be MPO, it could be WPO, it could be OPO, anything. But the thing that you're really most enthusiastic and passionate about is any investment, any type of deal yes. that my dad sees, he's in. <laughs> Almost any deal. This is such a big milestone. You're halfway to 150 years old. <laughs> I love when you cheer me on as movies and when you listen to me play piano. I can't wait to hang out with you on our family trip to Israel, and I'm looking forward to many more family celebrations. I love you so, so, so much, Grandpa. Happy birthday, Grandpa. I can't believe it. According to you, you're finally the big 39. <laughs> Other than being an abnormally young grandfather, you are truly an amazing one. It's not just the fact that you go out of your way to make me happy in ways that other people don't, 
Like when you took me to Panama. It's also that you are a comfortable and funny guy to be around. I can be casual around. Believe it or not, most of my friends can't say that about their grandparents. They have to be too polite and have the proper etiquette and all that stuff. But you have to be myself around, mostly because you don't have the proper etiquette. <laughs> Andy was born on May 16, 1943. A big and happy baby, born to Martin and Beverly. He grew up on a farm in White Plains with his beautiful sister, Sandy. They had a pony named Tony, and a driver spaniel named Candy. Who would have known during all of those years what his greatest successes would be Fathering three fabulous kids, Howard, Michael, and Emily. And then he became a grandpa. His five grandchildren are such a treasure. Parties, swim meets, and lacrosse are too numerous to measure. Here's a toast to you, Andy. May your life continue to thrive. And for all of you here, an invite to appear at his party in another 25. Yeah. What is life? It's a collection of friends a little bit. and family. And to Peggy, I don't know how you did this, with all that was going on in our lives, I love you and it was wonderful. And for all of my friends, some new, er, and some very old. Thank you all for caring enough to come because this has just really blown me away. It's just a wonderful evening and I'm so happy to see every person here.